What's up guys, Black Horse here and welcome back to another video and we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2019 for the second race uh, in Canada, the Grand Prix de Montréal following uh, the Grand Prix de Quebec which was uploaded two days ago on the channel and if you haven't seen it then I highly recommend you to do so. Um, but yeah, like we've we've done a good result uh, in Quebec, hopefully we can try and reiterate the performance uh, this time in Montréal and uh, last time we took Groupe MFDG. We're not going to pick the same team, uh, we're going to pick the uh, the Lotto Soudal this time with uh, Team Wellens as the leader. Not the strongest team, only two and a half stars, probably due to the fact that there's only six riders and not seven. Uh, but a very decent leader in uh, in Team Wellens. A good co-leader in Yellow Van and Dat. Um, the rest of the team isn't the best. The likes of Maximum Monfort could help in like a breakaway. Nicolas Mace and Lawrence Nazan being the two sprinters, but I'd... I mean, if they're still like in the final group uh, after 200 kilometers, then fair play to them. Um, but yeah, we're going to try and get the win with Tim Wellens this time. Hopefully it works out and uh, we'll see that in 205 kilometers. It's not a great day for, for our boys, uh, our boys, sorry, Tim Wellens. I mean, he's got a plus two in, in Hills, which is decent. The same uh, note that Valentin Madouas had uh, in, uh, in Quebec. But uh, yeah, not the greatest stat I've ever seen for uh, for team, not the best team. Yala Van Andert on a minus two, Nicolas Mace minus three, Montfort minus two, like, it's not great. We're going to send uh, Montfort in the breakaway immediately uh, to see if we can, like, maybe get something. Nance Peters is going to follow us with uh, Canadian Guillaume Boivin. And, uh, oh, if we could have, like, a three-man break, that could, be f that could be fun, actually. Could be fun. Uh, but, uh, no, James Whelan isn't uh, of uh, the same mindset. Jonas Gregard and Julien Bernard are also following um, the exact same goes for Olivier Le Gac. Where are my riders? Because I've been asking them to be at the front for like the past well, five kilometers and none of them are actually at the front. There's Nicolas Mace trying to go up there, but he's struggling. Like we, we, we need some uh, some work from the, from the guys. Stock lips wise, it's uh, I think the exact same. As Montreal, uh, sorry, as Quebec, a very strong lineup uh, start list, should I say, with the likes of Julian Lafilippe, Michal Kutkowski, Van Avermaet, Woods, Chagan, Nibali, Martin, Molema, Yates, uh, Wellens, Nazan, Kroziga, Hirschi, De Plus, and all of the other lo lo lots. Um, I mean, they're pref everyone's preparing for the uh, World Championships in Yorkshire. I know I couldn't find where they were in the last video. I finally got myself uh, to like. Look up, uh, look up uh, where the uh, you see. Is that four retirements? Okay, no, I thought it was. Um, but yeah, 197 kilometers to go. The, our guys are slowly going uh, at the um, front of the peloton. Yellow Van Andet and Steph Dewulf uh, being the last ones. And uh, yeah, three men in the uh, in the break. A chase of three with uh, Gregard Whelan and Julien Bernard. Uh, and 200k to go. Okay. Uh, it, we're approaching halfway point of the race, and uh, we have the exact same scenario as we had in Quebec. It it just it's kind of surprising uh, and quite weird actually. Uh, breakaway of six, never got like more than four minutes, and halfway point, we are only two minutes ahead. Uh, I mean, if we continue like if it becomes the same scenario as yesterday, uh, it would mean that. Um, the breakaway would get co-op with 25k to go, and maybe I would win the stage. So, yeah, it's it's definitely odd that the AI reacts the exact same. I mean, I know it's a similar race, similar parkour and all that, but still, it's, yeah, quite odd. Right, uh, we're struggling. <laughs> we're, we're actually struggling. There's been an attack in the break. Uh, I don't know who joined us. I think it's Ricosta. Yeah, it is. Uh, but also... Peter Sagan and Alaphilippe had tried to attack, uh, which meant that the peloton just exploded in the matter of a second, uh, which isn't fun. Uh, it actually really isn't. Montfort is the only one now trying to chase Julien Bernard. We're going to attack with Montfort, followed by Rui Costa. Uh, I mean, the peloton is going to catch the break uh, in like uh, some meters now. So it's, the, uh, I mean, if we can go to the break, you know what, it'll just maybe help us a bit more. We've joined um, Julien Bernard once again. Rui Costa is very strong. I mean, he just attacked, so it would make sense. And he's also the best rider in the break. 
Wellens is we're struggling to stay out the front. Uh, it's a much harder climb than it is on Quebec, which probably explains why. But like Yelvan and Dez has been just useless. I think useless never had a much more meaningful sense than during this race. Uh, he's been there for nothing. He couldn't even give water to the guys. So yeah, useless race from uh, from Yelvan Dez. I can only rely on Simolens now and Maxime Montfort, uh, and that's saying something. So yeah, I don't think we'll have the exact same um, outcome as we did yesterday. Right, there is no breakaway anymore, uh, and the peloton has really slowed down now, uh, which is a good thing because it's going to eat it allowed uh, Wellens and De Wolf to like go at the front. Van Andet completely died. Uh, however, I mean I can't. I'm already struggling to like get some uh, some some space to uh, be at the front of the peloton. Maximum Far is about to get water for the guys. Maximum Far has been more use like more useful than Yelvan and Dead. Knowing that Yelvan and Dead has been in the peloton the entire day and Montfort was in the break. Look at him. He he might Okay, he didn't get the water for the guys. You know what? It's all good. 34k to go. Uh no gaps. We've got two guys up ahead. Um Timo Lenz, who's on a decent shape and uh, Stan de Wulf, can't really say the exact same for him, but uh, it was, I mean, it's not surprising. We're approaching the final lap of uh, the Grand Prix de Montréal. De Wulf is still here with Maxime Montfort, uh, sorry, with um, Tim Wellens, uh, but he probably won't be there for a long. Peter Sagan had uh, already tried to attack once, Alaphilippe has attacked once, uh, I think Bilbao had just attacked as well. We're now going to pace um, in the main group with Team Wellens. Uh, the aim is not like I'm going to follow the attack of leaders, but I'm not going to follow like every attack. Um, I'm just saying in the wheel right now of Julian Lafilippe, as Casper Asgreen is uh, putting some, uh, well, quite a, a high tempo or high rhythm, should I say. Patrick Conrad has exploded following the rhythm of the Dane Casper Asgreen. Uh, we've done the final climb. We're going to follow Peter Sagan. I, I can't let Peter Sagan go. If, if I let him... PCM, I hate you with a passion. I was following him. I was actually following Peter Sagan. But again, decided not to follow him. Um, no, 15 guys left. We're still with Peter Sagan in the leading group. We should be good. We should be good. That's the final hill right there. Um, should I attack? thing is, I, I really want to attack, but I don't know if it's worth it. I thought Cataford was still in the main group. I was very, very surprised by that. Uh, if I attack, I'm fucked. So we're going to take the wheel of Julien Lafilippe. There we go. I'm going to stay in the wheel of him. And uh, we're going to wait for the sprint. Oh yeah, Lafilippe, mate. If you want to take a relay, that's all good. Kaspar Hasgen won't help you. There's still three Ineos with Kitkowski, Thomas, and Castroviero. Come on, sprint, big man. Sprint. All you've got. All you've got, go on, Alaphilippe, Wellens in the wheel, there's been a gap, there is a gap. Come on, right-hander, and then we'll launch the sprint right now. There was another corner, I forgot about this corner, I forgot about this corner. And Julien Alaphilippe is going, oh, is, is he? Is he? No, he's not, he's not, he celebrated too early, Tim Wellens wins the Grand Prix de Montréal, ahead of Julien Alaphilippe and Jasper Stoiven, no one followed the, the first acceleration, the initial move. Of Alaphilippe, except myself and Stoven. Stoven was a bit, like, uh, some meters behind. Wellens was the only one actually in the wheel of the Frenchman. Peter Sagan wins the sprint of the peloton in fourth position ahead of Oliver Nazen, Geraint Thomas, Dan Martin, Greg Van Armat, Michael Matthews, and Kasper Asgreen. But it's two wins on the two Canadian Classic, uh, Canadian Classic, sorry, for myself here. It was an extremely close finish between Team Wellens and Junior Alaphilippe for, uh, let's say, Two kilometers, Julien Alaphilippe had the edge over the over Tim Wellens, but uh, he needed 50 more meters. And celebrating just destroyed his rhythm, um, which propelled Tim Wellens in first position of this Grand Prix de Montréal. The Team Ineos brings home the team classification. What a win for Tim Wellens. Um, I didn't think, I, I, I honestly didn't think I was going to win this. Win this. Uh, I was much more confident with FDJ, uh, even though my riders were worse te technically than Team Wellens. But seeing that I had no teammate with like 40k to go, uh, except like Stan de Wulf. And um, when Sagan attacked and I couldn't follow, I thought that was it. 
I got held by, I think it was Michael Woods that I took the wheel of. And then, yeah, just by instinct, I took the wheel of Alaphilippe. I could have taken the wheel of Pete Sagan and I would have lost. I took the wheel of Alaphilippe and I won. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm truly happy. Uh, the, the win, obviously, is for Bjorg. Um, I mean, like, all the wins of Lotus Fidel ever since um, the tragedy. So, yeah, much like it just may, means even more for me uh, to win this stage with a Lotus guy. And um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you also enjoyed the Grand Prix de Quebec, uh, the Canadian classics. Was, I mean, actually, it was fun to do. It was fun to recall them. Uh, I really enjoyed like, the Montreal classic, actually. But um, yeah, as I said, if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. That would really, really help me out. Uh, also, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel uh, and that you've hit the bell to get notified of whenever I upload. The Vuelta, I think, finished yesterday on the channel. Uh, I think. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed it as well. Next up, uh, I don't know if I'll do the World Championships because uh, I don't know if it's possible to do the star list. Uh, I, I will have to see that, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. Uh, next up, probably going to be the Giro di Lombardia. Obviously, Team Sunweb Career Mode is um, coming back very soon with the end of the Giro. And also FIFA 20, so plenty of content on the channel for the past, uh, for the upcoming few weeks slash month uh, until like January, where PCM will start back uh, with the um, Down Under. So yeah, uh, nonetheless, I have been Blackwall. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys, and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. All them all the man need feeding. I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster.